Hi, if you are watching this video, you are probably a student who decided to pursue a degree in computer science and you're wondering whether you should be using a MacBook or like buy a MacBook or a Windows gaming computer. I can safely say with full confidence that you should just get a Windows computer because a MacBook ain't worth it. And I have my reasons for it. But before I get to that, let me just tell you a little bit of who I am and why you should listen a little bit to my advice or my experience or the entire video basically. So I'm a student who recently graduated my computer science degree. I'm majoring in artificial intelligence and data science. And before I get into the why you shouldn't get a MacBook, let me give you the reasons of why I bought a MacBook in the first place. And if you guys don't believe me that I have a MacBook, this is the MacBook I am referring to. I bought my MacBook in 2020 when the ARM chips series first arrived. The reason that I switched over from a gaming computer to a MacBook was because during that era, the battery life on gaming computers or on Windows computers in general was very bad. Like my gaming computer back then basically couldn't survive at all without having to be plugged into the wall. And MacBooks during that era can survive up to 20 hours. So the gap there in battery life was just massive. But that certainly isn't the case anymore now. Like certain Windows computers can survive up to 15 hours, like those Microsoft computers and those gaming computers, some even survive up to eight hours now. So I think that's more than enough in my opinion. Another reason I bought a MacBook was because I wanted a lifestyle change when I entered university. Because during, because back in those days, I was a, like a hardcore gamer. I played games like every single day. And I wanted a change because we're paying good money for university, like a lot of money. And I wanted to make my money's worth. So I wanted to be like, no more gaming for me. And I will just go and study. But that certainly wasn't really the case because once I entered university, I realized I don't have money, so I can't be going out every single day. So I gotta be able to do things at home. So to cut corners and save money, you can play video games with your friends, have fun, and also not spend a lot of money going out because transportation fees, eating out fees, entertainment fees outside, they all really add up really quick into your budget each month. Gaming was basically a good economical way of having fun. <laughs> But another reason that I decided to jump ship and go to a MacBook was because I heard, I'm not sure from where, but I heard that MacBooks were, were the industry standard in coding. Like apparently people in the industry, they use MacBooks for coding and this and that and yada yada. But you can save that. If you're thinking and using that as making sense of switching over to a MacBook, don't. Because if in the workplace in the future, you do have to use a MacBook, you can always buy a MacBook when you are starting to work in your workplace. And some companies, they even sponsor you a MacBook. So you don't even have to fork up the money in the first place to buy the MacBook. And you can switch and learn about the Apple ecosystem there during that time, not now. Because right now you are studying and you don't need a Mac. Now I'm gonna get into the reasons why and my personal experiences on why you shouldn't get a MacBook for your university studies in computer science. So the first reason is that the M series chips, they still have compatibility issues. It's been four years and we still have issues in terms of compatibility with certain applications. You can't run this, you can't run that because some things are just built for Windows. And another and the biggest reason that you shouldn't get a MacBook is that like university units or like subjects, they are built for Windows computers. Or if they say they are Mac compatible units, they're talking about Intel based Macs, which are like pre 2020 MacBooks. So like 2019 and before that. And those MacBooks are somewhat outdated now. You don't need that. But that is just putting out there what I mean by Mac compatible. And what I'm talking about in terms of units are built for Windows is that tutorials and screenshots, they're all done in Windows environments. If you have a Windows gaming computer, you can basically almost follow the tutorial step by step just based on the screenshots. But if you're on a MacBook, you have to go through your own troubleshooting, figure out how this and that works and how to download this because this isn't working and basically troubleshoot yourself because being honest, tutors and lecturers, they, they aren't gonna be very helpful to you. Most of the time there is gonna be like, that's your problem, it's none of my problem. And they're most of the time just unresponsive. So you're basically on your own to figure out how to be able to make things work just so you can finish your assignments. 
I have two very recent experiences amongst many that I can share with you guys right now. So recently I had a unit which is big data architectures and that unit, that unit, the entire unit was done inside a virtual machine. So you needed a virtual machine to be able to do the unit. And that virtual machine cannot be opened on a MacBook because MacBooks, at least the M series ARM chips are known for not being able to operate virtual machines, at least not now. And I had to go and troubleshoot and look for loopholes on how to be able to get the VMware package to open inside my Mac environment. And I had to go through like converting the packages from this into another certain extension and stuff like that. And that worked for a short while. It like stopped working in like the worst possible time. During my first test, I was like 85% done with the test. I had like 20 minutes left and suddenly the virtual machine just crashed, like full on crashed. It like stopped working didn't want to open basically those marches flew out the window like you can't do anything like if you ask a tutor about it that's your fault like that's your problem they, they can't do anything to help you throughout the rest of that unit the rest of the semester i had to work with like clunky school library computers with those clunky keyboards and you had to try to make it work basically horrible unit experience and another unit which i can talk about which happened recently also was software deployment, which was a unit where they basically teach you how to package software for deploying. In that unit, there was a particular assignment which you cannot do at all inside a MacBook environment because they operated, they use Visual Studio 2017. And in that Visual Studio 2017, you needed to download this thing called Wix toolset. And that toolset was built for Windows and you cannot do it on a MacBook, like at all. So the only solution the tutors gave us was those on MacBooks, go and borrow a friend's computer. Like that was the only solution. You have to go ask around for a friend's computer to borrow so that you can do your assignments, which in my opinion is not very convenient because your friends, they need to do the assignment also. And I didn't want to bother them personally. So luckily I had a gaming computer at home because remember when I told you I stopped the gaming lifestyle, but yeah, I bought a gaming computer just so I can play video games with my friends, but that really saved me in that situation. So yeah, hopefully you guys have found this video very informational. And if you had similar experiences to me as an Apple user inside university, be sure to comment down below so that other people who are watching this video and are contemplating between making the decision, they can go down there and also read your experiences because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one experiencing this thing. Yeah, so be sure to like and subscribe because I'm gonna be making a follow-up video on the best workflow in my opinion you can use in computer science or in particular artificial intelligence or like learning machine learning as a major. Hopefully I see you guys in that video. Peace.